Welcome to Fact Feast. If this is your first visit and you enjoy watching paranormal and mystery videos, subscribe so you can feast your eyes on more content from the darker side. Caracalla Caracalla ruled from 198 to 217 AD. Modern works continue to portray Caracalla as a psychopathic and evil ruler. His rule is remembered as being one of the most tyrannical of all Roman emperors. A member of the Severan dynasty, he was the eldest son of Septimius Severus and Julia Domna. Caracalla reigned jointly with his father from 198 AD until Severus' death in 211 AD. Caracalla then ruled jointly with his younger brother Geta, with whom he had a difficult relationship, until he had Geta put to death later that year. Despite giving Roman citizenship to all freedmen of the empire and constructing a huge bath complex, Caracalla's reign is remembered for its troubles. The massacres he enacted against the people of Rome and elsewhere in the empire and external invasions from the Germanic people. In 202 AD he was forced to marry Fulvia Plautilla, the daughter of his father's close friend Plautianus. Caracalla detested the marriage and vowed revenge for when he would become emperor. He kept his promise for he had Plautianus arrested for conspiracy and Plautilla banished. Her later death may have been on his orders. When Severus died in 211 AD, he ruled with his brother Geta. They hated each other and argued endlessly about rule and even considered dividing the empire between them. Despite their mother trying to reconcile their differences, Caracalla had his Praetorians assassinate Geta and put to death all his supporters. As many as 20,000 people. Caracalla is presented in ancient sources as a tyrant and cruel leader, an image that has survived into modernity. Dio Cassius and Herodian present Caracalla as a soldier first and emperor second. He spent much time with his soldiers, firstly calming Germanic rebellion and then invading the Parthian Empire. He became obsessed with Alexander the Great, and it is said that he may have reintroduced the obsolete phalanx formation merely because Alexander used it. His erratic behaviour was such that he even persecuted members of the Aristotelian school in Alexander based on a legend that Aristotle had poisoned Alexander. He did not see this campaign through to completion due to his assassination by a disaffected soldier in 217 AD, who Caracalla had refused the position of centurion. An ironic end for a soldier emperor.